Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to another video. I want to talk about getting stuck in life and how to get out of the place you're stuck in. Let's say you're stuck in a shitty job or you're stuck in a shitty relationship or you can't get a relationship, you know, you're trying to find someone but you can't, you know, you're stuck, you know, you can't find someone, bro, what do I do, what do I do, right? Okay, here is the thing, and I'll just use a personal experience here. And I heard this from Tony Robbins. Uh, Tony Robbins says this all the time in his seminars and his, you know, public speaking bits and stuff. He says, you only do something, or I'll paraphrase it, but essentially, it's when your should becomes a must, that's when shit happens. That's when you get shit done. That's when things start to change in your life. Look at all the things in your life that you're stuck at. You're probably at a should level, and that's why you're stuck. You think you should pursue your dream. You think you should get out of this relationship and find a better one. You think you should tell your boss to fuck off, and I fucking hate this job, and you know, I'm just gonna go and do my thing, my, follow my heart, fo follow my passion in life. But as long as it says it should, it will always be a should. And you're gonna be stuck. You gotta take these things that are shoulds in your life right now and turn them into a must. I must do it, all right? I must follow my passion, my dream, and I must succeed at it, okay? I'll tell you guys this because that's what I did, you know? Uh, I finished, I graduated university about uh, less, a little bit less than two years ago. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, okay, Said, you know you should make YouTube videos because at the time I was thinking of doing YouTube videos. I'm like, you know you should make YouTube videos. You know you should, but fuck it. You're gonna put your back to the wall and you're gonna leave yourself no options. So I graduated and I have a degree. I have a chemical engineering degree, okay? Which I don't, I don't give a fuck, to be honest. Like people say, oh, engineering, you're smart, blah, I don't give a fuck. You know, I, I don't even know how I got the degree, okay? I don't even know how. Uh, I gave it to my mom. So I gave the degree to my mom. I'm like, here, hang it on the wall, right? And I convinced myself, I swear to God, I'm still convinced. I'm still convinced I didn't use a degree. That I don't have a degree. That my back is against the wall. That this is a life or death situation for me. That I have to fucking succeed on YouTube. I have to make a living off of it. I have to, you know, make it my full time thing. Okay? And I swear, when I became so obsessed and I'm like, fuck it, like I have no choice. I used to even like be a little bit harsh on myself. I used to like look at myself. I know they say you're supposed to be gentle with yourself, and I agree. But I used to be like, you know, if you end up being homeless, you fucking deserve it. You're either gonna make it on YouTube, you're gonna make it your full-time thing, and you're gonna succeed at it, or fuck you. You might as well go live in the street. You might as well be homeless. I swear, that's what I used to, do, to tell myself. So because of that kind of attitude, that obsession, that it's a must, it has to happen, I started putting two, three videos a day sometimes, man. It was ridiculous. I remember like two, three videos a day. I used to go crazy, and I, I used to give people my business cards. You know, attack the random strangers. Be like, here, follow me on YouTube. I used to go on uh, other channels and leave comments. And I, I did so much shit to get it started, to have the foundation for it. Now, we have like 73,000 subscribers on the other channel. And in a year or two, we'll hit both channels combined. I'm thinking in a couple of years, oh, well over a million. You know, in maybe a year and a half, my estimation is a year, year and a half to two years, we'll hit definitely combined with two channels, a million subscribers. Things are going good. And, you know, it's my full time thing now. But again, man, like if I hadn't told myself that this has to happen, this has to fucking happen, or I will fucking just go and be homeless, you know, and I used to live off savings. I saved a lot of money, and for the first little bit, I would live off savings. You gotta turn your shoulds into a must, okay? Anything in your life that you're stuck at, you're stuck at it because it's not a must. You know, you think it's a good idea, yeah, I probably, I probably should tell my boss, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, I should probably, you know, like follow my dream, follow my passion, that's probably why you're stuck in wherever area you're stuck. Yeah, yeah, I should probably like get an, leave, this, leave this person that I'm with because you know, there's a lot of like negativity and maybe, you know, find someone that's more uplifting, that's gonna help me grow in my life, etc. 
Yeah, I probably should, you know. No, it's gotta be, be a must. I must, it must happen. I must do it. I must fucking do this. I must. My back is to the wall, right? My back is to the wall. I have nowhere to go but this way. And fuck the plan B. I don't need plan B. I don't need nothing else. You know, I'm just gonna, this is, that's it. Gotta make this work. And then magical shit starts happening and you will find that you have so many resources within you, so much power, so much energy, so much incredible things. Your soul has a lot of resources, man. You'll find that, hey, you know, I didn't know I was as powerful. I didn't know I have this much energy. I didn't know I can do all of this. I didn't know that I can, you know, do this and this and this and this. Yeah, you'll find how powerful you are. You'll really get in touch with that. So good luck. You know, we all get stuck in life at some point. We all have like plateaus. But I will finish off the video with the quote of Bruce Lee. Um, don't, what was the quote? Uh, if you always put limits on everything you do, physical or anything else, it will spread into your work and into your life. There are no limits. There are only plateaus. You must not stay there. You must go beyond them.